Tarot is what I've chosen for the letter T in the YouTube Pagan Challenge for 2018. And for me, Tarot is my divination of choice. To me, yeah, I haven't done other than like watching in a candle flame, which I like candle flame watching I haven't fully delved into but <laughs> as the divination choice I've chosen to put myself into tarot is the one that I've chosen oracle decks I'm even though I own like three now which I never thought I would <laughs> I still like tarot is gonna be there for me so where like say runes or tea leaf reading or pendulum using pendulums or whatever or other people's choice of um, divination and some people have more than one cho choice of divination but getting off topic so this is just some brief like points I want to make for this <laughs> challenge video. So like in there's a documentary available on YouTube where like it's the history of like the playing cards and it's going on the fact that yeah there's like points like there's playing cards and the elite added the trump cards to add in their games it started out as an extension of playing cards and then later on the din the fortune telling part of it wouldn't come until years later. Uh, the point that I have here is about 350 years later. But I like there's also also there's also a point where like tar the tarot came first, like what it was came first, and then like the playing cards. But like in a way, to me, the playing cards and then the addition of that kind of makes a little more sense. And has been played an extension of playing cards around Europe since about like the 1440s, like in Italy. And so, as you guys know, it's a deck of 78 cards, 22 major, and then the 56 minor. And so, the word meaning of tarot. Like, there's a few different wordings or spellings that it could have come from certain, like, words from the past. And one of them being from the tarot, the Arab word, Turuk, T-U-R-U-Q. Hopefully, I'm saying that close to right, meaning four ways. And to me, that would mean the four suits. Wands, swords, cups, and pentacles, and those four suits kind of like interchange depending on what deck you would use. And like, like the wands, some would use like batons or twigs, or like swords, maybe like knives or whatever. The person making the tarot may choose for the suit, like pentacles, desks, and whatever. And there's like no true, like no absolute true origins of tarot. Cause like you're getting, oh, tarot might have come from here in Egypt, or no, it's coming from here in the. Middle East or in somewhere in Asia. So, 
but like may have led from the playing card or like vice versa is from like one source that I've read but like for me it kind of makes more sense of that addition of like the at least putting putting into the playing card game <laughs> and so earliest evidence of a tarot is the Visconti Sephora deck from about 1450 for a marriage between the two families and believed the oldest deck is still in existence is from France and 17 of the cards are in the Bibliothèque Nationale at Paris and believed to be um, from Charles the Ninth. <laughs> Can't read my own writing, of course. Uh, France in 1312. So the tarot cards that were known in France, Switzerland, and Belgium by 1379. And I forget when the tarot um, playing cards were introduced. So like the exact date is kind of like they've been shown up 1300s, 1400s, more evidence of them show, being shown up or like mentioned in like texts or evidence by like 13, 1400s. So yeah, so quick glance because I know the talk of tarot could go on forever. So this is just a little I've tried to keep my videos for the YouTube Pagan Challenge under 10 minutes because I know some of the topics could go for much longer and I likely could for some of the topics I've done. So yeah, tarot for the YouTube Pagan Challenge. Happy readings!